has bought a ticket, a table, oh God. And I pray that you bless this for years to come, God. Let it be a small Kamisha Bless checking in here to inspire, uplift, and encourage you to tap into your God given talent so you can live in purpose on purpose. I am here and super excited at the third annual Brunch into the Backyard 2024. You are in for a treat on today. The room is beautiful and we are ready to have a fabulous time. Today is a day of love. Today is a sharing. Today is a day of networking and connecting. Today is all about us. We work so hard in our jobs. We work so hard in our careers. And this is a day that we get to set aside and just love on each other and have a fabulous time. Come on, y'all know Kamisha does nothing small, nothing mediocre about her. And everything that she does is with love, is with genuine purpose, and she keeps God at the forefront. Does she not? So we can bop our heads in here, have a good old time. Don't be brunching in the backyard later on today, but it's inspirational time, right? So as I sat in that hospital bed and I had my pity party, right? I said, you know, God, this is not fair. I said, I serve you. I worship you. I said, I sacrifice. I said, I fast. I said, I pray for people. I was even praying for people in the hospital bed, y'all. And then God stepped in. He said, but I kept you. He said, but I covered you. He said, I didn't let you die in your sleep. And so on today, he wants you to reflect on how the blood still works. Yes, everything may not be good in your life. Yes, you may be going through. But the thing about God is if you trust in him with all your heart, and if you lean not to your own understanding, and if you acknowledge him in all your ways, I promise you he'll direct your path. We're about to celebrate on Monday one year, but I know for a fact I've been with this man all my life. I just didn't meet him yet. Kamisha, thank you. Because like they said, when you inbox me, all right, Kamisha, girl, yes, let me talk to you real quick. It's our anniversary weekend, but I got you, sis, because I believe in you. I believe in everything you stand for. We have great to say before, but it's something about your spirit. So when God tells me to connect with people that's in alignment, I knew I had to come because it's bigger than us. So thank you. Oh, and so when I ventured out into my clothing business, um, it was my husband that said, baby, you're going to do this. And I was like, I'm not ready. I was like, no, no, no. And he was like, you're going to do this and you're going to have a place at the front of the store. So he just kind of took me by the hand and led me there. And he is my safe haven. This, this, this is kind of stuff we want to hear, y'all. <laughs> Fortunately, there were not a lot of people I had to, had to detach from because most of the people that I ended up with are still with me. So that was the good part. But here's the other side to that. I was prepared to give up everybody, anybody, to be right with God and to have my wife. And I had to give up the things that impeded my progress. A lot of times when things impede your progress, they are the things that you like. So you, have to make a, so you have to make a sacrifice. So I had to give up things that I enjoyed but was impeding my progress in our relationship. That's it. So I had to separate myself from the negative energy or I would have, you know, that spirit or whatever that they carried, I would have picked up on that and then I would have not gave him a chance at that time to be where we're at now. I see y'all like, you know, so just learning how to just balance it. So I, I hang out with them for a little while, but then I gotta get home. Cause I gotta make sure he's straight. Cause he don't go out. It's me, I'm the, I'm the loud life, you know, he quiet and, and laid back. So I have to make sure that I don't, I gotta remember that I can't be who I used to. I can be who I am, you don't try to change me per se, but I have to change some of the things that I do.